My name is uh, Rolo Fütterer. I uh, developed the master plan of Belval uh, 20 years ago and I'm still here on the site and coordinating the quality of the site. Uh, the design process starts always with a close look at the site and uh, what it gives you as uh, elements from the former industrial site to create something new. Of course, this site has no uh, normal uh, um, history of urban planning because it's an industrial site, so we have to make it happen as a new lively neighborhood. So what can we find as uh, kind of monuments that we can use for the next plan. So, so we found that, that there are many things uh, two times uh, in Belval. We have these uh, two cheminées here, and we have the, the two bassins, which we found when all this was uh, demolished. And uh, we have, in that case, this is one, but we have another blast furnace. So what we did is we made a strong axis to tell the story with this one, with this little monument we have, and also another one here. This is a small Eiffel Tower we have preserved in the site. And so we took the two blast furnaces and give them a big, big, nice yard in front of it to honor them for their future. And in fact, with this axis, the, the site of the steel production was clear as a strategy for a master plan. You see, the, the site was about 120 hectares. So it was not only the former industrial site, but it was also Greenland and a small city center of Belval. And you see here uh, two administrational districts who are growing together. And normally cities don't grow very friendly to each other. So we had the opportunity once and for all to regulate this interaction between the two communes. So we figured out that uh, we should make a strong connection also here, like a stair going down to that side. And we played around with the topographic lines here. We made a wild zigzag to create very long perspective and lines in this neighborhood, just to have another pattern than the very dense uh, uh, block of the center of Belval. And in fact, all ended up in a big green neighborhood. So the collective space of that all is the big, big park in the middle. These, in fact, are the basic facts of the master plan. And here you see when all this, uh, the production site is uh, erased, you find the new monuments of Luxembourg, the two blast foreigners, which uh, now are a, a museum. And uh, we thought maybe they are very weak with this steel construction. How long do they go in time? Will they be rusty? Uh, so we give it some, gave it some extra impact so that we, we made this big surface we called the Stahlhof, where we left these old columns, industrial, which are really like uh, two meters of concrete hopefully lasting for more than a thousand years. So even if the blast furnace and the, the weak steel material cannot be held in time, that there are still some monuments uh, left over for the next future and next generation. So in fact, that's as I said, we made this big axis and the connection to the new site and the new station. And in fact, this was our backbone of the industrial site. So the marriage of all these different characters, of course, ends up or sums up in, in a big green neighborhood, which called it the, 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 the central park of the site. So you will have the Belvaux part related to it and the perspective of Belval North facing towards it and also the open structure to, of the square mile, which is connected to that site. And all together, with the Plateau de Saint-Esprit and uh, the big lake, which is already there, you will find a nice chain of public spaces and landscapes, which is related to the open landscape towards France. 
In fact, we wanted to avoid to have a pure, how you call it, business district because there is no life after five or six o'clock. So there's also housing added so that we have a nice mixed program to feel safe and to feel among people during 24 hours, which is a very big uh, social point, of course. In this plan there are definitely green spaces, but uh, also more or less public spaces, which aren't green, which are quite solid uh, because they bear the industrial heritage of it. So we have to break the site down in like special neighborhoods and everyone bearing an own unique public space. You know, I started up with a two blast furnace. We give them a nice place and we can develop that surrounding and you have your plaza, the Rockhall in front and here the office of the developer Agora here also has a space together with the station and the shopping center. And for the students we have the Plaza Saint-Esprit. The next one we developed with the bassins, the central one. And these are the small plazas we have in our neighborhoods that can be developed step by step. The really green lines in it you will find uh, very easily on this plan because uh, we have the, the central park, which is a kind of a gathering place for everybody, you know, coming in from Belval, coming in from the administration and the science district. And we have the plateau which is also created step by step, having a beautiful mountain in the end to overlook the site. These elements go together, the, the huge green lines, with our water collection system, which is here. And it's accompanied by a bicycle and a footpath because the, the soft traffic should be honored by taking this very relaxed route, but also it's a draining system where all the water is collected here. So we have a very sustainable drainage and water system, but also creating a nice landscape element with it. Unique and adventure, it really addresses the, the correct atmosphere. I mean, it's a professional adventure. We started in the year, approximately the year 2000. And I remember the time when we began here, uh, when I said there were more rabbits on that side than, uh, than people working. And we started out, you know, in a, in a very small container, people, architects and the first people of Agora gathering together here and uh, with the first trees that have been there. So this is really the start of it 20 years ago. And the, the adventure was, of course, to have a site of about 120 hectares. And uh, we should realize at the end 1.2 million square meter for the University of Luxembourg. It was previewed to have about 7,000 students here, about 7,000 people, inhabitants being here and approximately 20,000 people each day coming here, shopping, working, going home somewhere else. So this is the daily population uh, we have. So in fact, all these numbers in Europe, it's really a big adventure. And the biggest adventure, of course, was also to, to work on a site which is very complex because it was an industrial site with uh, pollutions. We have two administrations working together, so that was also a big honor to uh, get in touch with all my colleagues from Esch and Belval, but also all ministries who work together and uh, the responsibles making the infrastructure which, which is as important as the buildings, uh, in fact, we have after. So the fact that there is a 20 years collaboration and I can contribute here now is a really good sign for a nice working climate, hopefully having really a sustainable city for the next 100 or 200, maybe 300 years, who knows. <laughs>